Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a formula to convert date to quarter and year. So right here in column A, I have a list of dates uh, from January 1st all the way to December 1st of 2019. In column B, I want to insert a formula to basically uh, take the date in column A and convert the date to quarter and the year. And first, I'm going to use the months function and to get the month value of each date. So for January, I'm going to get the value 1 and that represents uh, the first month. And I'm going to auto fill this formula uh, to the last row. And here I get uh, the uh, month value from 1 to 12. So basically that means uh, this will be uh, January all the way to December. And next, I'm going to take the month value and divide the number by 3. And I'm going to actually go to highlight column B. I'm going to format uh, the formatting to zero. And I'm going to uh, auto fill this formula again. So here you will see that uh, right now we get a uh, decimal point uh, of the uh, division of three. And next, I'm going to use the ceiling function. If I use an older version of Excel, like Excel 2003 and 2007, and you want to use the ceiling function, but if you are using a newer Excel, like uh, Excel 2010 and later, then you want to use the ceiling.math function. And this function will basically uh, run out the value uh, to the closest significant uh, decimal point. So here I'm going to leave the significance parameter as empty, and I'll basically uh, run the value up and to the uh, nearest uh, zero decimal point and enter. So this will return one. Now if we auto fill this formula again, and that returns uh, all the values as the quarter number. And since each year has uh, four quarters, so here we get the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and the fourth quarter. And now all we need to do is we need to uh, concatenate text. Uh, we can use either Q or we can use the full text quarter and use the uh, the and symbol. Oops. And to concatenate these two values together. And here I'm going to concatenate the year. So here I'll insert a comma and space and insert the, the and symbol. Here I'm going to use the, the year function and to get the year number of each date. Now all we need to do is we just need to auto fill this formula all the way down and that will return all the dates as quarter and year. I hope this video is useful and feel free to leave a comment if you have any question. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.